Hi, I'm Brand Bataglan and I'm a Cambridge-based artist. So I'm going to uh, give two assemblies this morning for the younger kids, first half, and then for the older kids, the second half. And then after that, I'll work with the fourth graders and we will draw for the mural. So basically, I'll take their drawings and I'll paint them. So I'll paint them between Tuesday to Friday of this week. So I have a one-week mural residency. So it's really easy to like draw my characters. So these are characters I've been drawing since I was a little kid. So most of my characters have one big guy and one little one, and I ask them to um, draw a really big smile, since I like very, very happy characters. And so um, most of my characters are not really anything. They can be human beings, animals, aliens, it's up to you. Um, and I sometimes ask them to like turn letters into characters, because some of the um, um, creatures that I'll draw will be letter-based, based on your school's motto, and so um, it'll be um, character um, letter-based. Hey kids, um, this is Bren. It's day one of the mural painting process. So I'm taking the fourth graders' drawings, like this P over here is right there. So what I've done is I first drew everything in pencil, then I painted the black outlines, and I'm now, um, I'm now painting the color portion of it. And I was asked to paint the background of this purple, to like add lots of purple, because it's your school's color. And the pride stands for prepared, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence. Hi kids, we're uh, day two. So yesterday, you may have remembered that we, I, I like, I've only had the board painted in purple, the text in yellow, and some of the characters on top. Today, I painted the black outlines on all of the walls. So from the left, right, and the top. So now all 45 characters have been painted. And, um, I'm now in the process of adding colors to all of the black outlines on the white portions of the walls. And um, I'm now trying to figure out whether to add colors on the purple portion of it. Because I just want the word pride to pop up. Um, so if I add too much color here, it may not pop out as much. Day three of the Partham Elementary School mural. Um, and so I finished. I have repainted all the black outlines. You can see over here, I have repainted every single details. And um, this part of the mural was probably the most fun and challenging part because it took a while to like get this kind of flat and solid purple background. And also, um, I asked about a dozen folks whether I should color all of the characters and secondary details here. And we've decided to leave the um, secondary um, drawings just uh, as black outlines. And so the words and also the um, letter that spells pride and some of the characters at the top have colors. But the rest will just remain as black outlines. So I'm done, I had a great time, and it was really wonderful to paint all 45 of the kids, the, the fourth graders drawing. So thank you very much. Hi, I'm Rebecca Hyde, the principal of the Partham Elementary School. And I'm Susan Carmona, the assistant principal at the Partham Elementary School. 
We're really excited to have just finished up a week of hosting Bren Bataclan um, and his residency um, creating a mural with our fourth grade students. Our grade four students had the opportunity to design over 40 characters along with our staff members and they're all represented here. And our fourth graders got to understand the whole process of planning, creating, revising, and publishing this mural much like they do, we ask them to do in reading and writing and mathematics. Um, and the best part is that our fourth graders were able to capture part of themselves and leave it here with us at the Partham Elementary School, no matter where they go in life. Hi, I'm Brent Badekland and I just finished painting the Partham Elementary School mural. Yay! Yay!